Welcome back! Today we're building a mini guitar amp with the classic LM386 chip. This is a very popular amplifier chip and gives great overdrive tones so it's a perfect candidate for DIY amps. Here's our layout which is simple so today it's also serving as our schematic. These are the parts we're working with today. The various capacitors, a resistor, some input jacks, a rheostat, some wire, perf board, and an enclosure, including a metal chassis if you so desire. First, it's important to map out your circuit, so that's what I've done here. I color coded this perf board from the top with magic marker to make it easy to lay out my components and wires. The chip legs are green, the input is bright blue, the output is dark blue, power is red, and ground is black. The gain jumper is gray. Begin by inserting just the chip socket. Spread out a few pins to keep it in place before soldering. Now add the power supply capacitor, bending pins a bit as you go to hold everything in place. Next, add the output capacitor and the 10 ohm resistor. Add the larger film cap and the input cap and solder all the parts in place, making connections between pins where necessary. Add the gain jumper and solder that in. Add the ground bus wires from socket pin 4 to your main ground point under your large cap. Connect another ground bus from your power supply cap to the main ground as well. Make the connections below and solder them in place. Add and solder the voltage rail from pin 6 to the positive leg of your power supply capacitor. Trim any long wires from the bottom of the board. If you don't have a rheostat, you can now hook up your output jack. If you are installing a rheostat, only hook up the ground wire of the output jack. I'll show both options.
Hook up your input jack and solder it in place. Hook up your power supply cable, positive to pin 6 and negative to ground. This is the basic working amp. In this case, the volume would be controlled by your guitar's volume knob. If you're using a rheostat volume control, we'll install it now. Pin 1 of the volume control goes to the output leg of the capacitor. Pin 3 goes to ground. Pin 2, the middle leg, gets connected to the output jack positive, in this case at two open slots on the board. Carefully insert your LM386 chip. Assemble your new amp in its cabinet. Add a knob, attach your power device, Now test your new amp with your favorite speaker cabinet. Congratulations on making a great sounding amplifier. If you like this video and want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching.